But the government were supposed to bring forward a water services bill and that was the expectation and indeed had said so many times. But what's happened here is, is that they've managed to bring forward a completely different bill, a very small bill dealing with dog breeding and Killarney uh, National Park and a few technical issues. And what they've done is, is to have uh, put in the whole complete water services bill in as amendments to this along with a whole range of issues around waste management which should have been a standalone bill as well. It's a clever attempt by the government to bypass three stages in the doll because they're bringing it in now at stage four. Uh, it means that there can't be proper scrutiny of it. It means that the opposition parties haven't been given a proper chance to, uh, to submit amendments to it. Uh, they're going to bring this before the doll next week in an attempt to extract yet more money, yet more money out of the pockets of people who are on the lowest incomes this is going to have a huge effect on local authority tenants, uh, but also people who are in private rented accommodation. Many of those people at the moment are losing their homes. Uh, they can't secure other rented properties because they can't get uh, deposits back off landlords for their previous tenancy. Landlords are now going to be uh, withholding water charges out of the uh, out of deposits. Uh, this is clearly the implications of this bill, and it means that those people who are at risk of homelessness homelessness and particularly families in private rented accommodation are going to be pushed further over the edge. It's reprehensible what the government have done. It's shameful. The Labour Party should hang its head in shame for what they're doing in this and if they vote for this next week they have not one ounce of credibility left. Sinn Féin are taking a stand on this. We believe that uh, we believe that we need to stand up for ordinary working people and those people who are going to be worst affected. But it just shows as well that how underhanded this government is the fact that they've gone about it in such an underhanded way, they promised an open government, they promised a democratic revolution. This is cute horrorism at its worst, and uh, they, can, they can never, uh, you know, claim that Fianna Fáil that are better than Fianna Fáil. They're exactly the same, and what they're doing here is absolutely reprehensible.